Today I'm going to be walking you through my 2023 acoustic guitar pedal board. Now we're going to be looking at everything from the pedals to the pedal settings to the cables to the DI to the power supply, everything in my acoustic guitar rig and hopefully it'll be helpful for you. Finally, we'll play through a little bit of the pedal so that you can hear both the effects, but then also the tone of the acoustic guitar. So I wanted to make this video for two reasons. One of them being when it comes to acoustic guitar rigs, guitar pedal boards, uh, I wasn't able to find much online, specifically maybe tailored towards worship or tailored towards church. Second thing is I want to share what I've learned. This has been a journey for me. This is not something that happened overnight. This has been a progression, trying different pedals, trying to figure out what that uh, good guitar tone for me is and just want to share those kind of findings with you. Now I mainly play at church, that's where I'm typically playing, but you really could use this pedal board for any type of other genre um, where acoustic guitar is prevalent. So when it came to creating my board, I was looking for three different things. So the first being I was looking for something that was both small and portable, um, something that I could take in and out of the different places where I play. Number two, I was looking for something that actually sounded good. I wanted whatever pedals, whatever was running through my acoustic guitar to actually sound good. And then lastly, I wanted something simple. I didn't want something with a ton of knobs or a ton of lights or a ton of settings I had to tweak. Now there's a place for that, but for the live gigs that I play, a lot of that tweaking is done by the front of house. So I wanted something where I could plug my signal in, capture a good sound, and then send that sound to our front of house. And I'm happy with my current setup. You know, I think that's the biggest thing when we're uh, creating boards and creating, you know, our rig is something that we're happy with. You know, that inspires us to keep playing. Now I've tried a few different pedals over the years, but really I've kind of honed in on the pedals that work for me. So none of these pedal companies sent me any of these pedals. I bought them with my own money. So this is my honest review of these pedals. Now let's take a look at the board. Now with the board, we'll start on the very right and follow our signal chain all the way to the left. Start Starting off, we have the Pedal Train Nano Plus pedal board. This thing has lasted me for years and has all the space that I need. I like that it's small and lightweight. I like that I could add another smaller pedal if desired. All in all, it's just a good board and has served me well. So after the board, now we transition into the first pedal. Now my first pedal is a TC Electronic Polytune 2 Mini Tuner. So tuner, I mean, you gotta have a tuner. This should always be, in my opinion, a guitar player's first pedal. A mentor once told me years ago that if you ever want to play like a pro, um, you really need two things. So that one is uh, playing on time. The second thing is playing in tune. So if you want to be a pro, play in tune. Now there are a lot of great tuners out there. I like this one. Um, a, it's small. B, it's simple for me to read. It's also black, so it kind of matches the aesthetic um, of the board. But again, just find a tuner, find one that works for you. Now, following the tuner, the next pedal in my chain is a TC Electronic Body Res pedal. Now, this is a pedal that you may have not heard about before, but really, this is the bread and butter to my tone. So as you can see, this pedal only has one knob. I will turn that all the way to 100% and I will leave that on throughout the entirety of the show. I really think that this pedal makes any acoustic guitar sound better. TC Electronics website says that it enhances acoustic guitar tone and adds feedback suppression. You can determine how much effect you want. However, again, I turn it all the way up and leave this pedal on the whole time. Now coming out of the TC Electronic body res, we are going into the Boss RV5 reverb. So when it comes to reverb, I really think that reverb kind of adds a whole smoothness to the tone. Now that's something that um, you, know, you may not see when you're plugging direct your acoustic guitar, but I really think for me the reverb helps, especially if you're playing maybe some of those smaller gigs where you're maybe the only instrument. So you can see my settings. I run the effect knob all the way to 100%, the time knob all the way to 100%, and the tone knob all the way down to 0%. Um, and for the setting, the effect setting, I set it on um, setting number six, or I set it on that modulation setting. Again, I'll leave this on the whole time. Sometimes I do have to adjust the time depending on uh, if I'm playing with a bigger band and maybe I don't need as much reverb there. Maybe there's other instruments or other musicians that are filling that space. Um, but for you know those solo gigs, those smaller things, if you're playing at a wedding, anything like that, um, I leave that time, that, that time knob all the way at 100%. 
So lastly, we pass all of our signal through a radial DI box that I have on my board. Not only is this a great DI, it's small, it fits. I also just love having a DI. It definitely makes the, the sound engineers happy when I, when I roll in and um, they don't need to provide any additional hardware for me. I just plug an XLR um, right into the top of that and I'm good to go. Let me know in the comments down below if there are any uh, other acoustic pedals that I should try out. I'm always looking for um, other pedals out there um, that I could try to really enhance my acoustic guitar tone. So after all my pedals, I do have a power supply. I use the Voodoo Labs ISO 5. I've had this for years, it works well. I really only need um, three power options for my tuner, the TC Electronic, Body Res, and then also the reverb, but I could add a fourth pedal if I wanted to. Similar to the DI box, I do mount it upside down so that that power cable just comes out the left side. Then I can loop both the XLR and the power cable together to make a little bit more clean cable management there on stage. So for cables, there's lots of different cable options out there. Um, I went with a Mogami cable um, and used the SP400 plugs. Now I hand soldered these myself and I have to say if you've never had the chance uh, to hand solder some of these things, you should. It's really fun when you're able to interact more with your gear. Again, do whatever your preference is. I've used store-bought cables in the past, which are fine. Uh, but if you wanna have a little bit of adventure, try uh, making some yourself sometime. So disclaimer, I'm not an electrician, so make sure that you uh, talk to a professional before you are soldering any of these cables. So now that we've walked through the board, let's take a listen to some of the sounds.
So thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful. Hopefully it maybe exposed you to some new pedals, uh, maybe made you think about something in a different way, but it's all in our quest to find the perfect guitar tone for acoustic guitar.